today we will learn the following concepts related to geometry now we've learned to take measurement of angle we will understand different types of angles here a clock is shown where one hand is on 12 and the other hand is on 3 if we measure the angle between both the hands we will get 90 degrees if the measurement of an angle is 90 degrees then it is called a right angle if you are aware of the directions then it must be easy for you to understand that the angle made between east and north direction is 90 degrees which means it's a right angle similarly angle between north and west west and south south and east etc all makes 90 degrees or right angle with each other find out the measurement of all angles of a rectangle are all angles of a rectangle right angles try to find this by yourself now consider we move the clock hands from 12 and bring it to 1 so now one hand is on 3 and the other is on 1 think whether the angle formed between both hands will be a right angle absolutely correct this angle is smaller than a right angle if the measurement of an angle is smaller than 90 degrees such an angle is called an acute angle for example this piece of cake is forming an acute angle similarly you can see acute angles in the displayed situations now try to find out by yourself that which angle is made if you look at the tallest part of a tree or the roof of a building now look here here both hands of the clock are in opposite directions we can say that both hands of the clock are in one line in such a situation if we take the measurement of the angle formed by both hands we get 180 degrees such an angle is called a straight angle can we establish a connection between straight angle and right angle try you're absolutely correct one straight angle is double that of a right angle we see a straight angle in many situations some situations are like this take a look at this clock here here the hands of the clock are making an angle greater than a right angle but smaller than a straight angle such angles are called obtuse angles some examples of obtuse angles are as follows pause the video and give it a thought now consider that both the hands of the clock are in the same position out of these if we keep one hand in the same position and move the other to complete one circle then we complete a circle and it is called a revolution the angle of revolution is called a complete angle we can see that to complete one circle the hand moves from 12 to 6 which means it makes an angle of 180 degrees in the same way moving from 6 to 12 means again making another 180 degrees therefore we can say that during one complete revolution angle is made 180 degrees plus 180 degrees which is equal to 360 degrees therefore we can say that the measurement of one complete angle is 360 degrees therefore we also say that a circle represents a 360 degrees angle if a circle represents 360 degree angle then identify the angle represented by a half circle or half of half circle try and find it now if we look here the angle shown here is greater than a straight angle but smaller than a complete angle we call such an angle as a reflex angle some of the situations of a reflex angle are as follows so now you must have understood different types of angles properly with this we will now understand another concept related to angles consider that two lines are intersecting each other at 90 degree angle such lines are called perpendicular lines we write it like this ab perpendicular to pq and read it as line ab is perpendicular to line pq some more examples of this are as follows consider the line segment ab is perpendicular to line segment pq and along with this 
it is dividing line segment into two equal parts. In such situations, we say that line segment AB is perpendicular bisector of the line segment PQ. With this, today we have learned the following concepts related to geometry. In the next video, we will see some examples related to this.